Welcome back. This is Dan Haby with CF Ninja Hacks. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at putting the uh, putting a little carrot at the bottom of a section like this. Uh, I've seen people call it like progress indicators or something like that, just to let somebody know, okay, just keep going down because we got more content down here below it. And the simplest way to do this and in some ways, kind of the best way is just to have your background set the color of the background. And then you have a little carrot down here. It's just a down triangle is all it is inside of ClickFunnels. And then we're just going to give it some negative margin. And I've done this before. So I know that about negative 63 just pulls it up. And there we go. And so let us preview that element. And so here it is. It's not great. Um, it's got a rounded bottom on it. So it's not maybe as sharp as you would like it to be. But it's not bad either. But um, let me show you a different way to do this. It's going to use a little bit of CSS. And the first thing I want to do is I just want to display this none so it goes off of the screen and then let's find this section element right here and um, so here we are in the section now what I want to do here first before I show you how to do the little carrot at the bottom I just want to show you a couple other things because we are going to end up using what you see here at the top is a property of clip path with a value of polygon with a bunch of numbers afterwards. And by the time we're done, they'll make sense to you. And uh, what we're going to do, though, first, be uh, what we're going to do first before we do the carrot at the bottom is I want to show you how to shift this. So, you know, you, you see a lot of times where people have a section running across the screen at an angle. Well, there's two main ways you can do it. One is much better than the other. And the first one we can do here is called a transform, transform property. And I, let's, if I spell it right, it would help, transform. Okay, so we got a transform property. And what we wanna do is we want to skew this and we want to skew it in the Y direction. So we're gonna go skew Y. And you see immediately it just goes wonky crazy on the page. And then once we do that, oops, it turned itself back off. I should have hit tab. So let's try this again. Transform of skew Y. And now I will hit tab and now it'll hold. So now we are skewing in the Y direction. So obviously horizontal, that's your X up and down is your Y. And so we that's what we're doing here is we are moving this thing uh, in that Y direction. And so once you click out of here in, in the developer tool, you can then come down here and they got a little gear, call it a clock or something like that. And so you can just take this back and forth and you kind of find your happy medium in here on where you want it to be. And I was looking at this before and about three degrees seemed like a pretty good place. The problem is with this though is notice the text. The text skews right along with it. So in order to have that text not be skewed, you then have to come in to the text element and you have to skew it back basically negative uh, or positive three degrees. Because right now we're negative three degrees. You got to skew the text back and every other element that might be in this section, you have to skew it back the other way. And so it's not necessarily a great way to do this. So we'll turn that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right into the developer tool. And I'm going to leave it alone for right now because what this says, and I put it up here big on the screen because it at this point here, it doesn't appear to be doing anything because the polygon that I put on here, which polygon is just a multi-sided element. Um, I can't, you know, it's been a while since I took geography class, geography, geometry class. And so um, I don't recall exactly, but poly is multiple. So you can have many sides. A star would be a polygon, I do believe. And so... Uh, what we have here, so we can create this like we did with the skew, but you can also create it into any shape you want. And there are some sites online, I should have pulled some up ahead of time, that you can go in there and they actually have tools where you can go in and you can play around with it and kind of build the polygon right in there into any shape you want it to be. Always remembering that the outline that you draw is going to 
Everything outside of that is going to disappear. Everything on the inside of it is going to remain. So what we're going to do here is you start here. It's just purely a coordinate system, and it's clockwise, and it starts in the upper left-hand corner. So we're going to start up here at 0, 0, or 0%, zero 0% percent, zero percent is really what I should have here, and I will have to correct it down there. So we're at 0%, zero 0%, percent, zero percent, so we're in the upper left-hand corner. Well, now we want to go all the way to the right-hand side. So this is our x-axis this way. Horizontal is our x-axis. So we're going to go from 0% x over here to 100% x, which is represented by this. But we're staying at 0 on the y because we're still all the way up at the top. So now the next point that we're going to create, we're going to come all the way down here to the bottom. And so we are still at 100% x, but we went from 0% Y down to 100% Y down in this bottom corner. So that would be these numbers right here. And then our final destination is back over to this bottom left-hand corner. So we are at 0x and 100% Y. So we're 100% down from the top and we are 0% in from the left hand side and then how these work is whatever your final one here is your final set of numbers whatever that is then that will automatically return to the first set of numbers so it just comes straight up the side here so now let's say we want to skew this element like we did before but we're not really going to skew it what we are going to do is we are going to cut part of it out so in order to get it to come up at an angle from left to right, what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut out a little portion of it here. So this is going to come down to here about, you know, we'll come down, let's just say 15% 15, 15 will come down, and then it will go over up to this top corner. So it will appear that it's skewed, but what it's really doing is it's clipping off that part of the element. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to say... In this case here, we want to stay at 0% x, and so I will put a percentage sign in there. And then what we want to do is I'll put a percent here as well. Oops, what did I just do? Uh, let's not mess this up too bad here. 0%. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just hit our up arrow, and we're going to come down, and we're just going to say it's going to be at 15%. So what it did is it just took that part of the element off. It didn't actually move it. It didn't skew it. All it did is it chopped off that little triangular piece at the very top. Now, the next thing we're going to say, and I'm going to put in my percentages here just so we don't have any problems. So then, so it's going here from 0, 15, 0, 0 percent, 15 percent over here to 100 percent, 0 percent. So we're going from 15% uh, down on the Y to 0% over here. And then, of course, we want to do the same thing on this corner. You can't go over 100%, so you always have to take, take away. You can't add two. And so we need to take this corner up. Well, this is our third coordinate right there. We want to stay at 100% on the X, but we want to come down on the Y. So we're going to come down here to 95% on the Y, and there we have our nice little thing. You can make it more or less, whatever you would want. And the nice thing is the text is all still straight. And if you had images, buttons, everything else in here, you don't have to mess around with skewing them like you would otherwise. And so that's a nice, cool little trick. Now, the only thing I would say on this is, let's say, okay, let's do a background color up here at the top. And we'll just say background of yellow. Now, the problem you're going to have here is we need to bring this element up. So all we would do is we would just come in here and we would just do margin top of, let's just put in zero pixels to begin with. And then we will move it upwards. So you'd have to slide this up a bit. And then we're going to see what happens here. So let's change the width on the screen. And let's see. All right. See, it's tracking very nicely. The skew effect is staying quite even all the way across. And what my concern was is that something might move. Now, here is, here is a problem and a caveat I will give you is as 
stuff on the top it shrinks down. So like the, the text there or an, or an image or something resizes itself. There is a possibility that that, that gap that was in between here could open up. So you got to kind of test all your different viewport sizes and um, deal with that. If nothing else, you just push this up further, which means you just need more padding at the bottom of this top section. So let's come back in here. Let's go up here. Let's turn off that hideous yellow color. Come back in here and we'll take out that as well. So now we're coming back to our clip path. So now let's set this back to where it was at um, zero, zero. Okay, so we got zero in the corners. Let's knock that out of there. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now that's gone. So now let's set the 85 here. Again, we'll set that back to 100. And then we have the entirety of our box again. So now what we need to do is put in a little carrot at the bottom here. Now, again, the only way we can put in the carrot there is by taking some of the black away. So what we're going to say is we're going to start it. We got zero, zero. We got 100% zero. We got 100%, 100%. Well, what we want to do over here is we want to pull this bottom part up some. So we're going to pull that up and we're on the same one right here. So let's pull that back up again. Oops, going the wrong direction. And so we're going to pull this up to, let's just, let's try 90%. And then on the other corner here, we want to do the exact same thing as we're going to pull this up to 90% as well. Now what we have to do is we have to say, okay, come in between here and let's say, where does this carrot want to begin? And again, we're always working uh, clockwise here. So we're going to start in from this corner. We're going to come over and we're going to say, okay, where do we want that carrot, the right side of that carrot to be? And so that means we have to come in before this. Let me see. Here. Yep. This should be right. We want to come in before the last set of numbers. And we want to say, okay, let's come over. Let's say we want to be 55%. So we're going to be at 55%. And then at that point, we want to stay at the 90% where we were at. So we're going to stay at the 90%. And again, doesn't look like anything happened because all we did is we drew a line from the right-hand bottom corner straight over. So it's not doing anything else. We haven't picked up any, any new space. But now we will because now we're going to say we want to come over to 50%. And we're going to go all the way down to 100% on our Y. And so now it comes over and we're starting to form the right hand side of that carrot. So then the next thing is we got to go back up to the 90%. So we were at 55 on the one side. So we will go to 45% on the other side. And then we will go to 90% there as well. And percent comma. There you go. All right. Doesn't look horrible. Let's see what it looks like when we are resizing. Okay. Now, the one thing I will tell you here is as you resize it, of course, that because it's all in percentages, it's percentage of the width of this element, this section. So that will change in width and height as you will not in height. It'll change in width, though, as we move along here. But because most people and you got to kind of say, OK, where's kind of the average? Where's your average screen size? Your average screen size on a laptop especially is maybe 1400. I got a little bug down here in the corner that says what it is. And you can change it and make the polygon different for mobile and desktop or just completely remove the polygon uh, when you're on mobile anyway. So let's say that's a little bit too wide. So let's come in and we will just bring that down a little bit. So let's say we're going to go 53 and 48 and then test it again. See how that looks. Okay. I mean, that's okay. Um, and, and if you wanted to get really, really crazy, um, there might be, nah, I was going to say there might be a way to actually use some sort of variable, but I don't think there's a way you could actually do that. So just forget that part. Um, and that's it. So, um, very simple. Again, start with this base code right here. Familiarize yourself with it, move it around. Always remember you do have to have a percentage after you don't have to have it after a zero because zero is always zero 
But if you want to start manipulating it, then make sure you put in a percentage if it's going to be something other than zero. So that is it. Just wanted to show you a little bit about how to use a clip path polygon today to essentially skew a section and then also how to put that little carrot at the bottom of it. So if you got any questions, just let me know.